And to Northway, given the rate of scrapping of locomotives in the 60s by British railways, it's a wonder any of those steam locomotives survived into preservation. Well, a lot have, thank goodness. I'm going to be looking at LNER locomotives today. And of course, here we have the superstar of all preserved locomotives, the Flying Scotsman. Designed by Sir Nigel Gressley, originally the A1, it kept the same chassis but had a new boiler and new cylinders and it became the A3. Now the one we're looking at here is actually the A1, you can tell by the dome which on the A3 is the Banjo Dome. When the LNER locomotives were renumbered in 1946 this became locomotive number 103. Sir Nigel Grisley's A4 streamlined class. We're looking here at Gadwall here in LNER Garter Blue. Well of course there's only one of the A3 class which is the Flying Scotsman which has been preserved but we have six A4s which have been preserved now when they were renumbered, the A4s started the LNER renumbering at number 1. Well, number 7 was Sir Nigel Gressley. Number 8 was originally called Golden Shuttle, but in 1945 acquired the name Dwight D. Eisenhower. Number 9 was originally given the name Osprey but became the Union of South Africa. Now when South Africa was frowned upon because of apartheid, that was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, the name Osprey came back for locomotive number 9. But it's back to being Union South Africa again now. We have number 10, which was Dominion of Canada. It got that name shortly after its original name, Woodcock. Number 19, Bittern. And number 22, Mallard. The record breaking. Speeder. Well, those are all the renumbered numbers. When British Railways took over, 60,000 was added onto each of them. So, for instance, Union of South Africa became 60009. Well, we're looking at Gadwall here. Gadwall is numbered 4469, which was the old LNER numbering. Well, poor Gadwall never got renumbered in 1946 because Gadwall did not survive the Second World War, unfortunately. So, six preserved. A4s. We did of course see them all together in the Great Gathering a few years ago. That was quite exciting. We had to get Dwight D. Eisenhower from the US 
we had to get Dominion of Canada from Canada, which we did. Anyway, they've gone back now to their overseas homes. Let's move on to Gressley V2. V refers to the wheel arrangement, which was 262. There's only one preserved V2, and we're looking at it. Green arrow. The livery of this particular model is is in the as preserved condition. We can tell that because we've got. If we just look very closely here. Will it focus? Can you see the overhead wires warning flash? Well, you wouldn't have had that back in the LNER days, would you? So, the only preserved V2. Nextly, Thompson's B1. There were 410 of these built, but only two have survived. When they first came out, they were named after antelopes. The first 50 or so were named after antelopes. And we're looking here at Impala, which biologists will know is an antelope. The two preserved locomotives, with their post LNER renumbering, 1264, which doesn't have a name, and 1306, with its British Railways number 61306, and is named Mayflower. Although the 61306 livery that it's painted in at the moment is fictitious. It was originally number 61379 back in the day. And the Mayflower is, uh, as I say, it's a modern, fictitious, preserved thingy. The livery of Impala, which is number 61002, is the Doncaster Green. This is one of the British Railways liveries that they had in 1948 before they could decide on a livery. So it's actually the same colour as the LNERs, isn't it? We've got an LNER Doncaster Green here, Apple Green, and Flying Scotsman is also in apple green. Okay, time to run some locos. Mm -hmm. 